Hey there, welcome to the 412 Canada podcast. Thanks for joining us. My name is Kim Hutchins and at 412, we're equipping the church for greater influence through serving. 412 is a ministry of Faith Baptist Church in Huntsville, Ontario. We are so excited to be able to continue to equip you through our podcast and YouTube. Today, I am thrilled to bring you my friend, Claire. She is a worship leader and singer-songwriter of Nigerian descent who loves the Lord and is passionate about leading people into encounters with Him. Her passion for not only worshiping the Lord, but writing songs filled with His truth was born from her love for the Word. She wrote her first song at the age of 16. Since then, she has written several songs, including recently released singles, Walk With You and Not Intimidated. And in this episode, we're going to talk about living fully surrendered to God and her newest song that just released, For Your Glory. Let's get started. excited that you are joining us here on the 412 Canada podcast. This is amazing. I'm so glad you're able to come up to Huntsville. Wow. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really feel privileged being here. Oh, thank you. Can you share with everyone, like I've heard a little bit of your story, which is amazing and some different things that you've been up to. Can you share with everyone who's joining us how you ended up here as a singer, songwriter and all the other things that you do? <laughs> right. It is a long story, but I'll give you a shortened version. So we lived in Qatar, we being my husband and my three girls, uh, our family lived in the Middle East for over 10 years. Wow. And uh, whilst there we were serving uh, in the leadership team, my husband was like a full-time pastor there and okay. uh, just serving alongside. And uh, uh, we felt uh, God pull our hearts to Canada, right? Had you been here before? Uh, <laughs> Uh, afterwards, we decided to come visit, you know, okay. we visited twice before we're like, okay, let's pack up and move. Yeah. But yeah, so, so that's, that's how that part went down. But then in terms of call, the calling um, to sing and write, I've always had that sense of calling mm. even from childhood. You know, yeah. I remember being as young as seven and my dad then asked me like, are you sure you want to be a medical doctor? That was a thing. <laughs> at the seven year old <laughs> or you want to be a singer and it's like nah i'm gonna be a medical doctor well i'm not a medical doctor even though i have a phd that's the route <laughs> i went through but but so i've always had that sense of, of wanting to sing and uh it was either not the right time or the right place you know yeah. i did try to remotely produce a, a full-length album in wow. 20, 2009 and I always tell people I was ahead of the curve when it comes to COVID <laughs> because now everyone is doing everything remotely. And I was like, yeah, we've been doing it. <laughs> we started remote. Awesome. Yeah, so, so I did it then, but I was just so far removed from what's happening as in the, yeah. the epicenter of music and Christian music, which is North America, right? And, oh, and yeah. So it, it, didn't, it didn't really work. Okay. So um, fast forward uh, eight years later, Later, we moved to Canada and then I still had that dream in my heart. Yeah, really we're still in burning. there, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I always <laughs> wanted to do something about it. And I was like, okay, God, uh, I'm going to do something about this, but you need to help me here because between 2009 and 2018, so much had changed, oh, you know, technology-wise. Yeah. And bef by the time I got around to doing something about it in 2019, I mean, even so much had changed, right? Yeah. Um, up until that point. So I, I felt like I was starting all over again in that oh my sense. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, through those years, I'd been writing um, songs a lot. Songwriting is something that comes 
out of my private devotion. Yeah. And I'm always singing, you know, and, and singing in the bathroom, singing and singing, <laughs> singing, singing. And, and then I whip out my phone and record voice notes, <laughs> you know. So I don't Thank lose goodness it. for that, right? Yes, totally. You know, just to date myself a bit, I, in the early 2000s, I remember getting uh, a recording, a voice recorder for that reason. Because right. I've always been this way, you know. I'm worshiping and then a new song comes and I'm like, Oops, I hope I remember. I hope I remember. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so I got the little recorder thing yeah. and I barely ever used it before we moved over to smartphones. Yeah. And I'm like, thank God, that was one <laughs> good invention, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is amazing. And I love that. And then you guys, so you came over to Church Plant, yes. right? So yes. touch on that just for a minute because it's kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. So, <sighs> so we, we felt uh, that, passion and, and sense of calling in our heart to come down here and plant a life-giving church yeah. that is full of the spirit mm. and of the word. We just wanted to have that church that had that balance and, and it's faithful, you know, yeah. full of faith because it was something that we didn't see a lot uh, uh, moving down here and even the times we've come to visit right and mm -hmm. and we have so much on our hearts for canada and we just want to see the spirit of god move in this land yes. and so uh that is what we have on our hearts and it's taking a while <laughs> <laughs> yes, COVID, right? entering so covid much, yeah. right <laughs> and just each time we're like okay yeah we feel like it's time to do this something happened but you know with god there is always a yeah. sense of timing mm -hmm. right with the mm -hmm. call and so we feel like things are opening up this year and the timing seems to be aligning and so we're on that journey so watch the space exactly exactly now let's talk about your life's message mm. right so we talked a little bit about this before when we had our phone call and just uh yeah you want to share <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, if you need to, you can just sing it. What is the cry of your heart, right? I surrender. <laughs> and use me as you will. Yeah, I, I think my music shares a lot of my life story, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Mine is one of a passionate desire to walk with the Lord mm -hmm. and, and to from that place of intimacy with him, you know, do life, right? Yeah. To really literally do life with him and through him you yes. know uh, that is really the, my heart you know so it, what does that look like to me it is spending time with him and having his imprint on every aspect of my life you know yeah. my work you know my parenting my mm -hmm. marriage you know every single aspect of my life you know uh one of my favorite lines from a song that i didn't write i wish i wrote it but because it's so good i'm like oh i wish i wrote that song um but it says uh, to you my heart is open nothing yes. here is hidden you yeah. know i want to leave my life in from that place of complete honesty yeah. uh, and openness before the lord always you know uh when the bible says that uh um Adam and Eve walked with God, you know. Yes, and yeah. They weren't ashamed, you know. No, um, no. So, so you find this kind of lyrics come into my music a lot about walking with God, about mm -hmm. running to His arms, you know, being open before yes. him, before Him, living a surrendered life. You yes, know? so surrendered life, right? Like, yes. What does that look like, and how could somebody watching or joining us? How could they do that? <laughs> totally. Uh, and the surrendered life really is not for the faint hearted. Because right? sometimes it looks like packing up from <laughs> your comfortable <laughs> life in the Middle East. Can I just drop that? We had like six weeks of annual leave in the Middle wow. East. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and leaving that um, yeah. because you feel like God said, hey, move there. And uh, you wow. know what? If it's from a place of love and intimacy, mm -hmm. it's worth it, right? Mm -hmm. We move thousands of miles for our spouses. How yeah. much more for the Lord, right? So good. Uh, that's a good th point. That is surrender. Surrender looks like 
hearing him or feeling his nudge and just going with whatever he says to do yeah. and it's in the big things and it's in the tiny things it's in the relational things you know mm -hmm. it's stepping out of the boat leaving wherever is comfortable for you you know and doing something just for his sake yeah for his sake and you know that it's for his sake whether it's loving that person that it's difficult on your team mm -hmm. all right or or talking to someone you know or, or giving something to someone just yeah. because he said so and if we do that in the little things the day he says pack up and move, <laughs> and move. <laughs> you will be willing to right so it's baby yeah. steps it's crawl walk run you don't start um by being a missionary to Afghanistan, right? Yeah. You start first with obeying the little nudgings, yeah. right? And, and that's the life of surrender to me. Yeah, and living a life of surrender, right? Then you're living for God's glory. Absolutely. Right, so let's Absolutely. talk a little bit about that, right? How do we live for God's glory practically every day? Oh, it, it comes back to that uh, point I made about living an imprint, I call it a divine imprint everywhere oh, like you that. go. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's because of him and through him, you know, you, you relate with people and you touch their lives, you're mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. in that moment, yeah. you know. I remember um, some of the conversations I had with my colleagues in the Middle East, working in the Middle East, you know, and how um, in one moment I, it was a get out of the boat moment for me where I felt God give me a word for a colleague. She's not, she wasn't a Christian, you know, and she was having a backache and I was, I just like, okay, you know what, I'm going to really do something uncomfortable. I was cringing, <laughs> I was cringing inside. I was like, oh God, oh, don't, tell, yeah. don't, don't tell me to pray for her. And it's like, yep. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I went ahead and I, I, I prayed for her and she's like, I feel energy. I was like, <laughs> that was like an eye roll moment for me, but <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, that's what you call it, you know, but, yeah. but that left a deep impression for me and it was a reminder because I, I wish I could say that was an everyday occurrence. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. But in that moment, God gave the opportunity and it was, it was random, you know, yeah. um, and all of that happened and we talked about some things about about how God had been desiring her for yeah. years and years. And, and she, everything we said resonated. I mean, I usually am not the person that will tell you, <laughs> 20 years ago, this happened to you. But on that day, I was just going for it. Yeah. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it, that's why it was a good thing, because it's not yes. me, you know. Yeah. And, and she was responding and like, this oh is so goodness. true. How did you know that? I'm like, well, God does speak, right? So, wow. um I, I went down a rabbit trail to say that yeah. living for his glory is really being his person, mm, you know, mm -hmm. in every situation and every place you go. And, and so I know we're going to talk about the, the new song, but that's the that's the idea about being yes. his hands and feet literally, yeah. you know, um, you know, the movie, The Matrix, at least the original version and and having all these moles everywhere, you know, <laughs> that just were part of the program, yes. you know, yeah. but we are like God's ambassadors, literally, you know, yeah. wherever we go and where his people yeah. in that place, just like you say, oh, I, I've got a person there, you know, you're good, you're sorted. Yeah. In the same way, he's got us in place mm -hmm. in every sphere yes. of influence that we operate in. And so we've got kingdom matters covered, right? Yeah. That, that's the sense for me of living for his glory. Yeah. Yeah. So and let's talk about the song, right? So it's just released. And where did the idea for this song come from? And I say that because I know you shared it with me, but I would love for others to know. And it's because I, uh, when I listen to music, sometimes it's just really interesting to get the context behind the song. Where did that come from? And I think the song is just so powerful. So I'd love Aww. for people to, you know, catch the vision of it. Thank you so much for that, first of all. Um, yeah, it came uh, one of the days I was on the back swimming in the pool, uh, on my back swimming swimming in the pool. And, and I was just having that quiet moment. And for yeah. me, whenever I have a quiet moment, I just want to dive into God's presence, you know, and, and just this 
singing the song is an open my eyes to see what you see, you know, open yeah. my ears to hear what you hear and open my mouth to speak what you speak. And then I turned to my daughter who was swimming beside me, listen to these words, do not forget. <laughs> <laughs> there was no phone oh, no. Be beside me, right? I was in the middle of the pool. I was like, no phone. Okay, listen. And of course, she forgot. Oh, but no. <laughs> I was like, God, I had an idea and it was so good. Remind me, you know? So that song has, I, I think there are like four versions of it. And, <laughs> and they're all equally good, <laughs> at least to me. <laughs> but the verse has just remained the same as in that. That sense yeah. of opening my eyes to see what you see and mm -hmm. opening my ears to hear what yeah. you hear, you know, and opening my mouth to speak what you speak. It's that sense of being God's point person wherever yeah. I go, you know, yeah. for his glory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love it. I think it's just so timely because that has been on my mind mm. this past year, right? How can we live for God's glory? And uh, yeah, that was just such a neat experience to chat with you and hear that. And it's like, oh, wow, it's so cool to see how God moves and bring things together, right? And totally. you can see his hand upon those little details. Totally. Yeah. Totally. So, and thinking of that, um, what is something that you would say for somebody who is serving locally and faithfully in their local church um, to encourage them as they're joining us? That's such a good thought. Uh, and I think we touched on that a little bit uh, when we spoke on, over the phone. Um, but one of the things is not to limit yourself and to limit how God can use you. Oh. Because when you begin to think about the thought of leaving a divine imprint wherever you go, it broadens your sphere of influence, right? Yeah. It means that you are important to God, period. You know, yes. whether or not, you're seven in church or you are that employee at a company, you know, or you're in this mom group or dad group, or whatever yeah. it is you do, you know, wherever you are, even for your neighbor who is mm -hmm. hurting, you are God's person. Yeah. And so begin to think about that and living our lives, you know, open handed, like, OK, God, how do you want to use me today? You know, yeah. and allowing God to lead us uh, through our lives, you know, even the way we spend our money and and mm. just show up. Right. Being intentional that and knowing that God can use all of that. Yes. All yeah. of that. Yeah. You know, for his glory. And he wants to use all of that. Yeah. yeah. That's so good, Claire. I love that. That's mm. so encouraging, right? And I think it's just great to hear that. Um, yeah. And I also I wanted to know, what was your favorite verse that I'd love for you to share? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm going to whip out my phone here yeah. and go there. It is one of my life verses, and it's from Psalm 32, yes. verse 8 to 9. I'm going to read it out of this Passion Translation. Okay. I, it's a paraphrase, and mm. I love it. It says, I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for mm. your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. Mm -hmm. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> can totally relate to that. <laughs> when I take you where you've not been before, don't make me tug you and pull you along. Just come with me. Yeah. So Amazing. that is a life verse for me i mean i always go back there always go back there yeah. because he promises to lead us but um, i love what um it says about don't make it difficult <laughs> <laughs> just come just come right yeah totally <laughs> we always have to take something simple and make it difficult sometimes exactly right? exactly yeah, yeah. Totally. well claire it was so great to have you on i love hearing about your song and just your history right and what you what god has called you to do Right. And thank you so serving. much, Kim. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Such a privilege to be here. Oh, thank you. Awesome. For those joining us today, I hope that you were inspired through my conversation with Claire to live for God's glory in all that you do. Again, we mentioned this in the episode, but Claire's new song is called For Your Glory. I know that I've been blessed by her music and would love for you to be blessed as well. So check out the link in our show notes. 
Also in those show notes, we'll post all of the helpful resources that Claire mentioned today. If you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, remember to subscribe on your podcast app. For those watching the video edition, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss an episode. Also hop onto the discussion by following us on social media. You can find us on Instagram at 412Canada. Looking forward to next time. Thanks for joining us.